Few, if any, South African sculptures are as eloquent, absorbing and moving as Anton van Vaux's Boer War masterpiece, Slecht de Nice. Conceived in 1907, the work catches two crestfallen Boer soldiers, broken in body and spirit, but brave and ever hardy, resigned to the loss of their republics as independence or their own impending imprisonment. The moment is heartbreaking and inspirational. One man rests his head on the other, his right ankle snapped and useless, his physical pain buried and his bandolier empty but for two last rounds. The other's stare is dogged and fixed forward, his soft felt hat throwing shadows across his gaunt face, his rifle temporarily downed and his expression haunted by suffering. The work is a breathtaking tribute to brotherhood and an enduring image of courage, grit and patriotism. This particular casting of Slach de Nuss has a compelling provenance. It was ordered directly from Van Vaux by the poet A.D. Keert in 1926. Remarkably, the logistical arrangements around moving the sculptor from the Nassini foundry in Rome to Senegal in the then Orange Free State via the artist's studio in Duinfontein are recorded in one side of the correspondence between poet and sculptor. While Keert's notes are lost, 22 letters from Van Vaux were found amongst Keert's papers and published by the poet's son in 1981 under the title Brieve van Anton van Vaux on A.D. Keert. The matter-of-fact correspondence begins on the 2nd of December 1926 and ends on the 13th of August 1930. All Van Vaux's letters were sent from the artist's home on Sivright Avenue except one, dated the 14th of November 1928, which was written in Rome. Most importantly, the letters confirm that Keert's casting, and all others of Slacht in Nuss up to that point, had come from the furnaces of Nassini at 63 Via del Babuino, a stone's throw from the Spanish steppes. The present lot arrived at Van Vaux's studio early in January 1927 and was forwarded to Senegal on the 9th of January that year. The extraordinary Roman foundryman and patineer certainly did justice to Van Vaux's touching figural composition and his staggering attention to detail. Note the iron sights on the Mao's arrival, for instance, the crumpled jacket sleeves, the matted beards, holes in soles, and the lizard behind the soldiers, perhaps emboldened by their long, melancholy silence. While Slacht in Nuss remains one of the most recognizable mini-monuments of the Boer War, quality castings are desperately rare. Only a handful of irrefutable Roman castings have appeared at auction over the last century. <laughs>